Hey guys, it's so Nuggets a Hug here. I think I have a plan. We're gonna start on this mermaid tail. Here's what I'm thinking. Hi! This is her gonna be great mermaid. So the piece of pla of acrylic that I've got here is 24 inches across. Um, the flip-flops that I'm going to anchor onto that, uh, they take up 8 inches. So I want that 8 inches in the middle. Uh, I figure I want about an inch on either side. Uh, Kai and I actually did some rough sketching in of where I thought I want uh, the edge of the tail fin to be. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to fine tune that a little bit. If I'm eight inches in the middle, uh, basically eight inches on each side with an inch to where my edge is. Um, I have like this little, little, uh, oops, little hand and gravy thing that just kind of little diamond tip edge or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just using it to score along the plastic and I don't know if this is actually going to work, but we will see. So, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to move those. And I marked in where I wanted to start right here. Probably take it about nine inches from the edge on both sides. And then we'll mark that with a straight line. I originally thought I was going to sort of cut it at a bit of a curve, but it looks like it's just not a great idea working with acrylic. Everything I'm kind of seeing is, is telling me to like score it and cut it. So I think we'll go with the straight line. On each side. So this still has the protective plastic coating on it. Um, I just kind of want to see what this will do. I suspect that just sort of got through the plastic. Yeah, not a whole lot else. Everything I'm reading is telling me to score it about a third of the way through. So I'm going to go and look for a utility knife and we'll get back to this. Hang on. Okay. Uh, utility knife in hand. I guess I want to cut it with the ruler on the good side. Just put some boards on the table because this is the kitchen table and I don't want to wreck it completely so let's try it. So we'll do multiple multiple scratches. Yeah that feels like all it's really doing is just scratching. Well maybe it cut a bit. Let's see if that's enough. I'm supposed to take it along to a straight edge and kind of give it a push. Yeah, there's no way I'm a third through. Nope. Okay, let's try some more. Sort of worked. Okay. 
Well, there's one side. Huh. Okay, so we'll try the other side. And then I, I suspect I will just work on sort of taking the sharp edges off after the fact with like a sander or a Dremel or something like that. So let's give this other side a go. So again, I want to have the protective ruler on the good side of the fin. That's about where I want it to go. Okay, so let's see if I can move this as little as possible this time. stayed a little better in one spot this time. Okay, let's see if this will snap. plastic on the other side. There's one corner off. There's the other corner. How close to the same are they? Yeah, overall it's not awful. For a first go, this will do. So I'll just need to get this sharp corner off, get these two sharp corners off, and I think I'll probably cut the cut the actual points off of here. So I will either sand those little corners or use a Dremel or something on them, but I think that is the base, that's the starting point of the actual flipper. We will see how the sanding goes. Stay tuned. Okay, so that was like super exciting. It's the first time I've ever used a Dremel. And all I did was I sort of took the sharp edges off each of the corners. And I checked it from both sides. So there's no little spurs or anything there to, to grab. So I think that's going to be the start of it. Um, I think I really want to attach the flip-flops now. So I put